Hello and welcome back. Uh, part three of custom animal pasture uh, and how to set it up as a placeable and join all the parts together. So in the previous video, uh, added the, the uh, trough and created the nav mesh and whatever else. I'll show you that there. Um, we then exported this out and created our own i3D. Uh, Re-zeroed the i3D, the separate i3D, so that we're not going to have doubled the amount of um, attributes. Uh, created the placeholder um, user attributes so that this can be left in the map. But this script will kind of, like I said, make this a non-entity. It's just going to show up in Giants Editor. It won't show up in game. But it just makes it easier if you need to make any tweaks here and there because I might need to make some tweaks to the fields, fill, uh, the uh, food spillage areas or perhaps maybe one of these triggers is too high, too low or needs to be repositioned slightly. And by using this script, I can leave it in the map and not have to then re-import it every time I want to make a small change here and there and everywhere else. Um, so, yeah. The other thing I was thinking about doing is possibly adding... Um, bales into here but I'm not sure if I want to make those just decorative or I think I might just make those decorative but we can do that in the uh, separate i3d um, I've had them where they do actually move with fill planes in the past in 17 but uh, I think in this particular case there's going to be some issues with the fill planes because the bales will move at different speeds if you like or whatever else different rates to the fill plane so you'll either get the fill plane and no bale or a very small amount of the bale or all of the bale and none of the actual straw um, on the ground so it's going to be a bit there but uh, that's okay doesn't really matter um, I think I might just add them as decorative objects and then just go from there but still contain within the placeable system so they'll only be there um, in new farmer mode so with that said then I'm going to let's just save this again just to make sure uh, that everything is up to date and where it needs to be. And then I'm going to have a look at the XML and set all of that up. So if we close this down, I'm going to go into the installation folder for FarmSim again. So FarmSim 2019 data uh, placeables, animal husbandry, and I want to have the husbandry cow XML. So I'm just going to make a copy of that and put it into my placeables folder here close that down um, and then what I want to do here is just link everything together and I also just need to make sure that all of the um, indexes are correct for the setup here so actually what I might do is yeah let's do this first so if I go back into here go into the installation folder once more and we'll go to objects uh, round bales and I want round bale straw um, yeah let's do this so if I open this up in Giants Editor uh, we'll just do an export of this so let's just go um, control C copy the name file export selection it doesn't matter, we can put it in there, that's fine. And we'll save that. Close that down and that. And if I then open this one up, I can edit this one without any issues. So what I'm going to do here is take this and delete it. And I'm going to take this Control X, click in the empty space in the scene graph, Control V. And I can take this one because this got all the attributes and everything and just delete it. I can take this and just move it up one. It needs to be at the top above the camera, otherwise it won't render properly. Um, it'll get confused. Um, and then what I'm going to do is let's... Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, um, I've rotated the bell uh, minus 90 so that my the bell is upright, but the gizmo is in the right position. Um, and then what I'm going to do is go edit, freeze transformation, untick everything, go rotate and apply. And that will then zero all of this out, which is good, excellent. We'll save. And then if I open up this, and then I can import that into our visuals. So let's just go file, import, 
round bale straw, control X. Uh, let's have a look. Control V. Something like that. And then, you know, we can do whatever here. So we get into the right position. Can scale this up to an appropriate sort of size to fill the uh, feeder ring here. Let's try uh, 2.3, 2.2, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2
which is correct. And our straw is 0, 05, is also correct. Fantastic. So all of those are now in the correct places where they need to be. Awesome. So we can do that and we can save that, close that. Um, and let's see, what else do I need to do? Oh yeah, the other thing I want to do is set this up so that it's not purchasable and it cannot be sold. So to make sure that I get it all spelt correctly, back into the installation folder. What you want to do here is find something that's not purchasable. So anything potentially to do with um, the rail system is going to be non-purchasable and cannot be sold. So all we want to do here is just basically take the um, items from here, make a copy of those, and then put them into here. Uh, <clears throat> so under price is fine. So we'll just do that and then put them into there. Then we can close that one down. Don't need that anymore. Okay, so. We now have that set up in there. Go ahead and save that. Cannot be sold. Show in store. False and false. Fantastic. Um, pretty sure that's all of that contained in there. And that should be okay. Okay, so we'll close that one down then. Don't need that anymore. Um, don't need that anymore. So we can delete that. We should now have our husbandry cow set up in there, okay. Right, so uh, what we need to do then is go into the default items. Now, I've already put this line in here because um, you need to, uh, there isn't any kind of um, way of finding this because it's not something that is in the uh, default maps. So you have to kind of cheat a little bit and go into game, buy your animal husbandry set up, and then look at the save game and then take the item, the parts from there uh, to do with this to get the right class name and everything. So we want item, class name, animal husbandry. And then our file is going to be map directory. Uh, so dollar map dir dollar slash map slash placeables slash husbandry cow dot xml. And then all I need to do in here is put the uh, position and rotation. We want it to be default farm property and the farm IDs. That's fine. Um, so what we want to do then is go back into the map. So I don't need the feeding trough anymore because I've now used that. So I can get rid of that. We'll go back into the map. And then we just need to apply the attributes for the actual where this is going to spawn. So again, this is a good idea why to use the uh, placeholder script. Um, so it can be in the map in Giant Serator and you can then just keep going back into it and tweaking things as you need to and then updating the separate I3D where you need to and whatever else. So if I bring this up and just change these. So my position on the Translate X 216.023. And then this on the Y62. 0.244 and the z axis 426.512. I've got no rotation at all, so that's fine. So I'll go ahead and save that, close that down. That's fine. Um, I'm pretty sure everything there should be okay. So we can go ahead and save, uh, shut that down. Don't need to save it, I've not made any changes. Um, that should be where we want to be, I think. So I guess uh, with that then, um, what I will do is let's test it out. There's always a point when I get to somewhere uh, when I'm doing this. And the only way you can move forward to know whether you've done everything or done everything right is to literally just load it up in the game and see what errors you get. You might get lucky and it will work first time. Um, but if not, then just work through your errors until you get it working the way it's meant to work. So let's go into game then.
Okay, so in game then, and what I've actually done is I've tweaked some things because I don't know why. Uh, when I actually came into game, this is obviously new farmer mode. Um, we have all the cows. I've bought some cows and bits and pieces because um, basically where I had the straw trigger here, I had difficulty actually getting the trigger to recognize the bell shredder and I actually had to put the tractor over here before it recognized where the trigger was. Now I went actually back to one of the in-game animal husbandries and I looked to see where the straw trigger was set up on all of the different animal husbandry um, modules, the setups, and each one of them was placed against a flat sided kind of setup like this. And I think because this here is kind of at an angle to the rest of it, that was causing some issues to do with the way the trigger works. Um, and it was then put in the actual trigger, even though the trigger was here, the actual game was seeing the trigger over here somewhere. Really, really weird. And I don't know why it would do that, but um, by moving the trigger to where I have, and you can see I've got to this stage and I was testing or trying to test out some other parts didn't want to kind of like you know bring you guys along for that part of it and I wanted to show you what I'd done to what was causing a problem and basically you know where um, or what I had to move to make it work uh, so if you're creating an animal husbandry customized pen setup just be careful where you put your triggers because it would seem that if they're kind of angled slightly it does seem to cause some problems they seem to need to be uh, on a 90 degree angle sort of thing to uh, the pen or something like that I don't know it's a bit weird um, first time I've actually come across that problem and I've done a couple of uh, custom animal pens or pastures and not had it before but they were um, you know not this kind of setup they were more of a, a square squared off kind of fenced in area so being on an angle like that, I think that was causing some problems. Um, but uh, in the process of finding that error, it did give me the opportunity to get some equipment together. Um, <clears throat> so you didn't have to uh, sit through me driving from all the way over the store, uh, other side of the map from the store, um, and uh, getting all this up together. So yeah, like I said, just be a little bit careful where you actually set up your um, triggers. So as you can see, new farmer mode, we do actually get the farm placed on the map, all the triggers in the right places and everything else. Um, the other thing I did actually have to tweak a little bit was build planes because the uh, feeding trough that I had here was taken from the sheep husbandry, um, if you remember, and the fill plane for that in the XML was different to what it was for the cow husbandry because the cow husbandry um, original trough is much bigger than this one so the uh, actual um, X uh, was it max min max Y was slightly different to what this one is set up for the sheep uh, feeding trough so I had to tweak those a little bit and what I've done is move the straw trigger over to here so it's on a kind of 90 degree angle to this side um, whereas the other side it was all a bit of a weird angle so that seems to have fixed that problem uh, from what I can tell. So like I said, just be a little bit careful when you're placing down the trigger, because if I get into this tractor now, I do actually have in the trigger itself, my um, information to start overloading straws. So and that was what I was trying to do over there, but then it wouldn't work and um, sort of driving backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. And I thought, right, I'm going to stop the recording here and, and try and figure out what's going on. So you don't sit through 20 minutes of me trying to find a trigger uh, but I did eventually find it like I said but uh, it just wasn't anywhere near where the trigger was actually placed and that was a really weird really weird sort of um, glitch I don't know what that was all about but anyway by moving the straw trigger over here against this 90 degree sort of you know 90 degree to the fence that seems to have fixed it so uh, we'll just continue on from here I guess so if I press I and we're now unloading our straw and hopefully we should get some fill planes coming up. There we go. 
so that one is now raising up perfectly okay now I need, may need to tweak these slightly again I'm not sure I've only got the one bale here so might not be able to test it completely but uh, we do actually seem to be getting something coming up um, which resembles straw here straw plane so that is fine those do seem to be working uh, with a bit more time I possibly would incorporate these into the actual fill plane so that they actually raise up into the feeder trough here or feeder ring uh, with the, the actual fill plane excuse me um, but uh, for now that seems to be doing the job I'm just going to move this out of the way and then um, if I can get into the other one here uh, I will then test I've already got some TMR in this one so I'm going to just see if this will actually feed up, uh, fill up the trough should do hopefully there we go excellent uh, so let's just do that and oh, it's unloading that side can I switch that yes I can let's do that and that and there we go uh, and we have our fill plane raising up so that's good I mean the, the actual texture of the fill plane again was from sheep the, the sheep so if you wanted to or needed to use the uh, sheep um, feeding trough you might want to change the actual uh, fill plane texture but you know at the end of the day you're going to give them grass a silage and various other different things and still only get the one colored fill plane anyway so that doesn't really to me make any difference it's a fill plane so you know just go with it change it to whatever you think is appropriate for your gameplay style or whatever else so let's just run over to here and we have our water trigger fantastic so let's do that one and we'll just watch that yep perfect there we go the plane is all coming up everything else so if we go into the escape menu here cows and you can see we now do have all of the parts showing up there and whatever else and then over time they should hopefully change their productivity um, now I don't have the fast forward mod in here so I can't fast forward time in a you know quick fashion so we'll just speed up time a little bit and uh, hopefully we should be able to see what's going on um, but other than that you know I don't think it looks too bad we have got the actual placeable where it needs to be it's all set up in the right you know location and everything else um, we are now getting a little bit of manure spawning in here so that's good uh, so let's just see yep 100% productive and we are now producing manure slurry and milk so you know from that side of things I don't think there's anything to worry about there it was just the fact that for whatever reason uh, putting that straw trigger over here was causing some issues um, because it wasn't at a 90 degree angle to the actual actual main kind of setup I don't know why that would be because you know at the end of the day a trigger is a trigger you're either in it or you're not in it but <laughs> I wasn't in it I was way over here somewhere and then getting the prompt to give my cows the straw so um, I'm assuming that that's something to do in the script the actual script itself how it recognizes where the trigger location is um, I think in 17 we actually had to put uh, transform groups at each end of the trigger for start and end so it knew where that was but uh, that doesn't seem to be the case in 19 it uses the exact fill root node for everything um, it would appear and uh, whatever trigger you have associated with that will then be for either water or you know straw grass wheat barley whatever um, and then that is you know through collision masks and then whatever you have it set up as a fill type in the XML so yeah there's some diff definitely some differences on the way that those um, particular functions work within 19 at the end of the day you know this is in this entire setup here is a placeable um, so that's you know a massive change right off the bat you know um, Whereas this would be in 17 and 15 a completely static setup with your 
you know, triggers and everything else built into the map. So, you know, it's definitely a lot of changes and things that uh, I'm still learning myself. Um, you know, and that's there. There is one of them there <laughs> straight off. Uh, don't put your straw triggers at a weird angle to the fence because it doesn't work. Um, but I just wanted to show you there that it does work. Everything is working. Just I had to make a few tweaks here and there to actually get it working. Um, but I just wanted to let you know what I'd done there to get this. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to exit out of here and we'll just save. So you can see clearly everything is working. And we'll go back on the desktop and I'm going to reload the map again, start a new um, game save. And I'll then go into Farm Manager um, and we can have a look at um, hopefully how that's going to work. So if I come to here and choose Farm Manager and then we'll go to the Thornbrook map and continue. Once this then loads up, what we should see or what we shouldn't see is um, our cow husbandry. Uh, so I do a there we go. Fantastic. So we are obviously going to have some terrain deformation here where the um, building would have been in new farmer mode. Um, but other than that, you know, we're now going to have access to an area here that uh, I could potentially do other things with. You know, I could fill this gap here with a placeable fence or a placeable gate or something or a combination of all of that. Um, or you know placeable trees or whatever else uh, and potentially here I don't know if it would actually work or not um, oh it's in the uh, this one isn't it so if I do like this one here uh, what have we got let's do I can't do smoothing unfortunately because my middle mouse button is broken so if I do um, raise can I actually raise this terrain cannot be terraformed here so yeah you know I don't particularly like this this terraforming tool I've never found it works 100% for me, um, but uh, you know why can I not terraform this terrain? I own the land. I should be able to just click wherever I ha wherever I want on the map, and this do whatever I want it to do. But uh, no, not going to let me. So again, bear that in mind when you're actually creating your placeable. You might need to potentially not have this kind of a setup. Um, and just you know work with that but like I said before if I didn't say before I'm going to say now the building that uh, was here in this placeable setup um, I possibly wouldn't use that building anyway I would use something different so if I go back into the other save game <clears throat> um, I possibly would use a different building anyway and in that case I wouldn't need to actually terraform the terrain at all. Um, so, you know, yeah, it's, uh, what can I say? Um, I just think the terraforming tool should work better than it does. And in that scenario, I wouldn't have the problem because I would just be able to level out the terrain how I wanted it to be. Um, and then I wouldn't have that issue. But uh, like I say, this has got uh, the milk parlor milk impala or whatever the hell you call this thing in here um, now I don't know how big this building is under the ground so potentially I could raise the entire building up um, so I didn't have to have the the hole in the ground uh, you know possibilities are endless I guess but uh, um, I, I would prefer it where I could have it like this and then use that terraforming tool to level out the terrain in game um, and then create what I wanted but uh, it is what it is, I guess. Maybe that will be updated in um, future patches to work better than it does at the moment. But we have what I wanted to get out of this. I've got a placeable cow pasture um, now all working. And uh, depending on what mode, game mode I choose, it will either be here or, work, or it won't be here. Um, and then I will have access to areas of land um, or cows, <laughs> whichever I choose to go, you know, depending on again which which game mode I choose to play in. So hopefully 
at the very least I've given people um, given you guys some information that you can use to uh, work with to create your pastures and your placeable uh, setups um, create some fantastic maps and whatever so yeah I think there's nothing more there that I can show I'm Shy Wizard thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one